Hello, everyone. I want to talk about intuition because there's no more important topic than intuition. Your intuition, your intuition holds the key to your future, to your happiness, to your understanding life and discovering your purpose in life. It holds the key to your recovery, even to your salvation. It holds the key to having good relationships with other people, to having wisdom and understanding. And everything was dependent upon your finding your intuition and learning to follow it. Now, I've said so many times over the years, I'll say it again. Your intuition is your closest link to God. Your intuition is what you know wordlessly in your heart. You know, a lot of people, they don't understand this Bible verse, but it's so beautiful. Many people have heard it and they like it. But perhaps when you hear what I have to say now, your eyes will be opened. In the Bible, there's a beautiful passage in Jeremiah. And then again, you find it in the book of the Epistle to the Hebrews, where God said, Behold, the day is coming when I will put my laws in their hearts and write them in their minds. Behold, the day is coming, says the Lord, when I will put my laws in their heart and write them in their minds. It's so beautiful. You see, it's what you know in your heart, deep down, wordlessly. God communicates with people by way of intuition, and it's wordless. It's like a heart-to-heart. -heart. You, you've heard the expression heart-to-heart, to, heart, to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Well, have you ever sat down with someone, and you look at them, and they look at you, and you don't even need to say anything? It's a heart-to-heart -heart communication. Parents and children know that. Sometimes you can be a thousand miles apart and you sense something heart to heart. God communicates with people heart to heart. It's instantaneous. It's, it's deep in your being and it is extremely profound. And that is how the prophets were inspired. Many people have been inspired and even you have been inspired, but you don't know it. You don't know it. Nobody taught you properly to understand. Instead, they taught you to, to look into books and to listen to teachers and professors and experts and to study. And what, they've been, what they do thereby is gain power over you. They gain power over you and thereby they keep you from seeing just how empty they are. So what you need is to get back in touch with your intuition, what you know in your heart. Now, it's your closest link to God. And when you were a little child, you were born with it. It's a gift that God gives to all human beings. And intuition is your apperception of the light. It's your realizing, sensing, knowing, in God's inner light. And you had it when you were a little tiny child. You were born with it. Maybe you can remember when you were a little child and you saw things and you knew things. You couldn't put words on it, but you just did. And you also remember a long time ago when you were a little child that you sometimes felt bad after you were angry with your mommy or your daddy or something, or if you stole something you, you felt bad afterwards. That was your intuition. It feels like we give it the name conscience. Intuition is, the word conscience is, is a word that we give to what we feel when we've strayed from intuition. See, if you followed intuition from beginning to end, it would lead you directly to God and it would give you a safe life. It would lead you to, the, to be in the right place at the right time, doing the things that you like to do with people the people that you should be with, and you would discover your purpose, and it would lead you to God, your intuition. But you've strayed from it. Now you must refine it. But when you stray from it, then it feels like conscience. So conscience is twenty twenty hindsight. Intuition is present sight and foresight. 
So you stick with your intuition. It gives you, it gives you just in time guidance, especially in those delicate moments with your family, for example, with your loved ones, where what you say makes all the difference in the world. It'll give you the right word with the right energy, with the right timing, and it'll be perfect. And it'll just come spontaneously. You won't have to dredge it up from your intellect. It'll just, it'll just say it and it'll be right. Other times, it'll have you to turn right or to turn left instead, or it'll have you to pause for just a moment and you're safe. Other times, it'll hold you back from getting involved with someone or something that's not good for you. It restrains you. And other times, when the timing is right and there's something there that's good for you, then the door opens and you step through to prosperity and to happiness and to fulfillment. You understand? Your intuition is your guide. Now, some people have been close to their intuition. The prophets were close. Their inspiration came by way of, of their intuition. Other people have been inspired to speak or to write, as were the apostles when they wrote the when Paul wrote the epistles, for example, he was, inspi he was inspired. And it came through intuition. He, he saw, and he just spoke what he saw. As he saw it, he spoke it. It was spontaneous. It came from another dimension through him. It was just beautiful. But if he had pre-planned everything, it would have been false. It, it would have had the hand of man in it. Now, other people have been close to their intuition. And I'm getting to to my book now that I want to tell you about. I wrote a book called A Weekend with Einstein and Augustine. It's a beautiful book. And in it, I have chapters devoted to intuition. This is a most important topic. Some of you have some interest in this. You really should get the book. It's a very good read. I talk about Einstein and how he used his intuition. And I talk about Augustine and how he used his intuition. And I even have quotes from Stephen Jobs, who talked very much about intuition. So I think you would find this to be a very nice book. See, Einstein used his intuition. How did he make his discoveries? It was his intuition. Then he used his intellect to put it into words or to put math to it. Sometimes he used his imagination to have thought experiments, you see. But these flowed from, they were an extension. His intellect was an extension of intuition, but first intuition. So do you understand now that intuition is your most important gift? When I hear somebody say something, I listen lightly and I check with my intuition. And if it sits right with my intuition, then, well, maybe it's right. If it doesn't sit right, then I dismiss it. In other words, I don't believe other people. I don't believe what they say. I don't believe what's written in a book, even a holy book. I trust what I know in my heart. What I know in my heart, if there's something true or useful or good being said on the outside or written on the outside, then in my heart, there's a witness born to it. Do you understand? My intuition bears witness to what's on the outside, even as what's on the outside bears witness to what I know in my heart. When I hear something, sometimes it's because I already knew it. I already knew it. And the outside simply awakened me to what I already knew in my heart. So you understand? Intuition first, last, and always. Intuition is the key. So you must refine your intuition. And you can. And meditation helps. And I want to read you something from my book. I want to read the back cover of my book, A Weekend with Einstein and Augustine. Listen to this. We're all looking for love. What if love is at the very ground of our being? What if love has been there all along, but we fail to recognize it? To find this love and its source, let's take a weekend tour of the universe with Drs. Albert Einstein and Aurelius Augustine. Fasten your seatbelts because you will explore outer space, even be present at the creation of the universe and inner space, our deepest needs for love, fulfillment, and meaning. You will learn of the mystery of time and why it holds the secret to eternal life. You will find out what is the interface between matter and the spiritual source of creation 
and you will discover the interface between human consciousness and divine providence. It's a wonderful book. Special chapters devoted to Einstein, Albert Einstein, and how he used intuition to make his discoveries. It's actually a good read. I tell a lot about Einstein, about school, about how he learned and discovered things. It's just beautiful. And then I talk about Augustine. Augustine loved God, you see, and he followed his intuition. It was, it's a very beautiful story. His book, Confessions, is one of the most popular books of all time. So I think you would enjoy this book. And there's some science in it, but it's science that you can understand. How? By reading lightly and your intuition will bear witness. Your intuition will bear witness to some of the things that you read here. So please get the book, A Weekend with Einstein and Augustine. It's on Amazon in both quality paperback and Kindle, and you can preview it there.